Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Photoshop filters. Open an image that you would like to experiment with. Then on the top menu bar here, right about in the middle, click where it says Filter. And open up this one that says Filter Gallery. And to make the image fit, there are plus and minus buttons down here at the bottom. So I'm going to click minus until my image fits. Here are a bunch of folders. I'd like for you to experiment with some of the filters in all of these folders. So I'm going to go ahead and click to open artistic. And I can choose colored pencils and see what happens. Now I can tell right away that my computer is lagging because this is a really big image. So I'm going to fix this right now and you might need to do this with your image too. I'm going to go ahead and cancel and go to image, image size. And yeah, my image is 72 inches by 48. So I'm just going to make the width, um, I'm going to choose something like 30. So 30 inches by 20 inches and click OK. Now you might not have to do this step with your um, image if it's not big. Now I'm going to go back to filter and filter gallery and now let's see if that works better. So minus, there we go. Now I will open the artistic filters and choose colored pencil and that's much better. So much faster. So over here on the side you can move these values around. So if you want the width to be more or you can click and drag and see what happens when you change the pencil pressure. You do have to give the computer a minute to catch up so you can't just drag the sliders back and forth, forth really fast. You have to drag it and then wait a moment to see what happens. So I'd like for you to just click through these and look at them and some of them are really bizarre like this one called plastic wrap. Um, you might not ever use that for something but this poster edges looks beautiful and I could see this being used for um, for a poster or for an advertisement. So go ahead and open up all the folders, try out the different options and in the end um, when you find one that you like or, or keep note of the ones that you think have potential and then go back to the one that you like. So glowing edges is a is a pretty neat. I might go back to that one. And can you see how this has white edges? The reason that the, this has white edges is because I have white chosen here in my color. So if you want to have a different color, if you want it to be black or purple or whatever, you can change the color of that. All right, so let me go back to glowing edges and I'm going to go ahead and play around with these different values until I like the way the image looks. And then when I'm finished, I will click OK and I pushed um, Control or Command-0 to make that fit on the screen so I could look at it and I think that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and um, make sure that you turn your project in so that you get credit. That's it. Have fun!